What's up guys, I'm Andrew and in this video I'm gonna show how to completely install Windows 10 on your PC or laptop. Before I start, first I will explain something about installing Windows 10. Windows 10 is available in two different boot mods, UFI and Legacy, and 32-bit and 64-bit version. 32-bit version is for computers which have 32-bit CPU. And 32-bit version of Windows can recognize maximum 4 gigs of RAM memory. 64-bit version can be installed on most computers and it's recommended for every new computer. Windows 10 Home 64-bit can recognize up to 128 gigs of RAM. And the Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise can recognize up to 512 gigs of RAM memory. After installing, Windows 10 will automatically install most of drivers. But if you're doing this on a laptop, before installing, it's recommended to download your drivers manually from your laptop's manufacturer's website, especially if you're using AMD laptop or a laptop which have 80 Radeon graphics. Also, it's recommended to install the chipset, sound, internet LAN and wireless drivers manually. If using some of newer ASUS laptop, then maybe you'll need to use a USB mouse during installing Windows 10, because the trackpad will not work during installing process. But don't worry, after installing everything will work fine. Now let's move on. How to create bootable USB with Windows 10. To create boot USB with Windows 10, we'll need access to Windows computer and minimum 4 gigs of USB. 8 gigs it's recommended because have enough space to place your PC or laptop drivers. To download Windows 10, open your browser and go to Microsoft website. Also this link you can find under a video description. On the Microsoft website select Download Tool Now button to download Media Creation Tool. After downloading finish it, insert the USB and run the Media Creation Tool. In Media Creation Tool select a set button. In the next window select Create installation media for another PC. In this window, you can select your language, Windows Edition and you can choose between 32-bit and 64-bit version. On the next window select USB Flash. Select Next and again Next to start with creating bootable USB. Now the Media Creation tool will automatically download and create bootable USB. After creating USB, just select Finish. Now, after creating boot USB, visit your PC or laptop manufacturer's website and download the drivers. After download the drivers, open the USB with Windows 10 and create new folder name it Other or Drivers. In this folder, copy your PC or laptop drivers, but also you can use another USB to place the drivers. Now let's move on installing process. Insert the USB with Windows 10 and start your PC or laptop. During startup, keep pressing boot menu button to access in a boot menu. In my case it's a F12. Under a video description I will place other boot menu buttons including laptops. In the boot menu you can choose which boot mod to use, I mean Legacy or UFI. For example, my USB is Kingston. UFI Kingston it's a UFI boot mod and just Kingston it's a legacy boot mod. Because I'm using newer PC I will choose UFI. Now on the first screen select next. On this screen the Windows 10 will ask to enter the serial key. Here you can enter the serial key or you can do it later after installing the Windows. On this screen, you can choose which Windows you want to install. I will choose Windows 10 Pro. Now here select. I accept the license terms and go next. On this screen select. Custom, install Windows only advance. Now in Windows Boot Manager select your disk and select new to create new partition and install the Windows. If you want to create more partitions in same disk, 
Then select New and enter the size of the partition but in megabytes. After creating first partition, then select Unlocated Space and create other partition. But also you can create more partitions in one disk. Now create your partition or partitions, select your primary partition and go next to start with installing the windows. During installing process the windows will reboot several times and do not turn off or restart your computer manually. In installing process the windows will ask for personal settings, informations and creating computer account. After boot the windows will start to search, download and install basic drivers automatically. How I said before, some drivers for sound, chipset, wireless and if you have 80 Radeon graphics it's recommended to install it manually. Also if you have AMD laptop then it's recommended to install all drivers manually. I'm saying this because the windows is still not perfect, correctly to find and install some drivers. Now, let's move on installing basic apps, browsers and antivirus. I will show one really simple and fast way how to do this. Open the browser and go to ninite.com. Ninite is a package management system that will automatically install Windows applications. As you can see, here have a lot of applications. Everything what need to do is to select applications which want to download and install. After you have selected the applications which want to download and install select, get your Ninite. After downloading the installer, select the RAM button. Now the Ninite installer will automatically download and install selected applications. After installing your applications, you can continue to set up the applications. For example, in Mozilla and Google Chrome, I will set google.com as home page. But you can choose some other, I mean your own home page. After this, I will continue to set up iTunes, Winamp and I will activate the antivirus. Some of free antiviruses need to be activated before using. And if you don't make this free activation, the antivirus may not working. Probably you will ask about Office. As Office I will use OpenOffice. The OpenOffice is totally free to download and free to use. Also download link you can find under our video description. OpenOffice is very similar like Microsoft Office. You can write documents like in Microsoft Word, make presentations like in PowerPoint and have same features like Microsoft Excel. And this was some basic installing process. After this you can continue with your personal customization, installing your favorite games and other stuff. I hope this video will be helpful and if you have some questions post a comment below the video. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.